Hey guys, we're here at Saved by the Max, the Saved by the Bell pop-up restaurant, to find out what it's like to eat inside of an episode of Saved by the Bell. By looking at these dishes, it feels like a lot of this food is way nicer than what they ate at the Max. I don't remember the episode where they ordered poutine after school, or pancakes for that matter. I think I'm gonna order the Poutine Angel. That's the name of the show's producer. Uh, when I was in seventh grade, I lied to all my classmates and I told them Peter Angel was my uncle so that I would be popular. That's how you know who produced Saved by the Bell? <laughs> the best part about this is that there's cocktails. Yeah, there's all the liquor here necessary uh, to drive drunk and crash a car, just like Zach did. This is the Mark Paul 75. It's got Plymouth Gin, Lillet Rosé, and Lemon. I had gin in high school, gin mixed with ice. <laughs> I got the Friends Forever, which is named after the friendship bracelet company they start that Zach quickly turns into a slave labor sweatshop. It's a beer, and it's a shot of Jameson. Just got through the appetizer round, really good. We had the Snow White and the Seven Dorks, which was the hot wings. My two favorite dishes were the Angel Poutine and the Mac and Screech. And I think that's based on the episode where Screech created his own version of McDonald's and called it McDonald's and got sued. What you just described never happened in Say by the Bell and borrows parts of Coming to America. I'm so full. Kind of reminds me of the episode where Mr. Belvedere gained 600 pounds and had to be hoisted out of his bed by a crane. Yeah, so Mr. Belvedere was actually not on Say by the Bell. He was on a TV show called Mr. Belvedere. You're thinking of Mr. Belding. Totally common mistake. Okay, so it's time for dessert, and the dessert we ordered is called the Zack Attack, and it's based off the episode where Zack got attacked by a pack of wild ferrets, and uh, they removed all of his limbs. Remember that one? Sure, yeah. Sure, why not? Here we have Principal Belding's office. This is not canon. The principal's office was not in the diner where they would hang out at every day. Hello, I'm the principal. Believe it or not, Saved by the Bell had a principal that was a woman. Super ahead of its time, wasn't it? A lot of fun details here at Saved by the Max, including the fun signs that were all around Bayside. This is a tour of Sax Locker. We have this cell phone. Um, I think I might steal it. It's kind of gorgeous. Here we have Tori's Locker featuring a helmet a motorcycle jacket, and a picture of herself. We all had one of those in our lockers, right guys? Jessie Spanos Locker. She was my favorite character from the show. You know why? Because she was a stoner. Look at all these empty weed containers she had. All right, that's all from Saved by the Max. The food was great. The details were spot on. Time to get out of here. See ya. All right, not real. Yep, this place is not real. It's from TV.